side of this hill, uh, that's where the pass is. And the pass is the exact same one that's still used today. I've always been interested in the Middle East, kind of looking at the news, wanting to go there because there is such an incredible wealth of history. That's where civilization really started and where empires started. Turkey has that mystique, I guess, of the ancient world. Our survey started with Tel al Judeida. Tel al Judeida was excavated in the 1930s. Only the first half of the material was ever published. And this is a huge site, like the mound is giant. It was uh, on a major trade route, so it's a very important site where you can see cultural interaction. And it was inhabited from the Neolithic to the Christian period. For continuous inhabitation, that's really important because those sites show us changes in the region throughout time. So what we're doing at USC is the Tel Al Judeida Publication Project, in which we're going to take all that material and really publish it, both in print volumes and in an online database. This past summer, I went to Turkey as part of a Problems Without Passports course. We were in the Hatay province of Turkey, which is South Central Turkey, right by the Syrian border. And we traveled throughout most of the Amuk Valley during survey. Survey was a really great learning experience. I had never done anything like it. It basically involves searching the landscape for undocumented sites. We do this by looking at pottery sherds that are lying on the surface. We used satellite imagery and GIS software to ground truth for these sites where we look for anomalies in the landscape and then hike out to them and see what we can find in terms of ancient material. Over the two-week period of our Problems Without Passports course, we were able to document 14 new sites that had not been registered before. Professor Dodd was in contact with a senior Turkish scholar who was interested in an Ottoman gravesite in the region. And so as part of our survey, we, as a joint team, went out to the graveyards. We found tombstones with inscriptions on them that this professor was very interested in. So I returned with this professor and her graduate students to photograph these tombstone inscriptions using technology called RTI, which is a dynamic photographing technique that creates a composite image in which you can move the light around and access the, the different textures of the surface and bring out features that you couldn't see with your naked eye. I got surf funding from USC Dornsife, so I was able to get to Turkey, participate in this Problems Without Passports course, and stayed on for an extra month and a half to excavate at a site called Alalak. Now Alalak was a, a Bronze Age palatial center, which means that they had multiple levels of palace. If you go back, you can see the remains. It was also excavated in the 30s. So they've reopened that excavation and they're just trying to find out what they can. We found a lot of interesting pottery, which is something all Alok is known for. I worked with the pottery a lot this year illustrating. My favorite part of research, it would probably be the drawing. You can hold it in your hand. You can take something tiny and by drawing it, you can figure out what it looked like. And based on the typology from what you've excavated already, you know exactly what purpose that pot served. The knowledge I've gained at USC has been fantastic, both in terms of an archaeological sense and then a cultural sense. I came here as a theater major. <laughs> I was going to be um, an actress, and just I was thinking about switching a major, and one day a friend of mine toured, took me on a tour of the archaeology lab, and I fell in love. So without that experience and without the guiding hand of the professors and the other students who had already been through the program, I wouldn't have even known these opportunities existed. Back here at USC, I've continued working with the data from survey in a research project here at the lab. So I'm using all of the site data collected over past survey seasons and also data that I helped to collect this summer. I'm using these geographic points, mapping them in GIS software by their period, seeing how settlements have changed over time and across space.